Well, good afternoon once again and welcome Ooh, back sorry. to Barnsley and the Metrodome and it is the final of the PDC Players' Championship 5. So Damon's won and it ball. is Damon Hetter who will get us underway after winning the throw for the ball. It's Gary Anderson who has been in sensational form all day, continuing that form from Thursday's Premier League in Nottingham. He has been nothing short of sizzling. And wow, Damon Hetter gets us underway in some style here. Joining me in commentary is Paul Nicholson alongside me and Nigel Pearson as Gary Anderson goes toe-to-toe -to -toe, uh, with Damon Hetter as well today. Ironically, um, not uh, blowing our own trumpet, but when we did our first match this afternoon, we predicted. Uh, you said Gary will reach the final. I said Damon will. Well, we said you said Gary to win it. I said Damon to win it. Here they are in the final. Um, Gary, I've got to say, Nico has just been playing brilliantly all day, hasn't he? 57. On another level to every player. And of course... Damon Hetter knows that this is a big hurdle he has to climb for two reasons. One, he's got to beat the best One player of the day. And he's putting down a bit of a marker in this first leg by leaving 45 after nine. But we will get into the particulars 40. in due course. But there is a mental hurdle here for Damon Hetter, who looks at double 16 for an opening gambit of 11 darts. I think he was looking at that double 16 as if to say, how Get dare you shot. reject my dart? Four visits enough, one nil header. It's first to eight, so seven to go. Yep, longer format in the final, of course. It's been first to six throughout the course of the day since we started here at around midday today. And then we went up to seven for the semi-final. And uh, Gary Anderson ended that long, proud record of Joe Cullen. 140. To, uh, to reach the final. So... What was it, about 19 matches that Joe had been on? And as Gary hits a lot here, but just by the way, Gary's just hit a 180. Um, yeah, well, that was a long run that Joe had been on. Yeah, 19 matches for Joe Cullen. It's yeah. an admirable run, but these things do have to come to an end. And he will try and start another streak tomorrow. But Gary's form today has been... I, I don't even have a word for it. I don't remember the last time I saw such a display of averaging throughout the course of a day. 105.03 for six matches. 1,680 is going into that semi-final against Joe oh, Cullen. He got another six there. But the strangest thing for me is that he's had five ton plus averages for the day as he goes for double 10. 90. And gives Damon a chance here at another 12 data. This is a gettable out. We'll come back to those stats for Gary's day in a second. 57 needed for the bull. Narrowly missed. So Anderson, who has had plenty of jaunts to double five 59. today, will need one more. Yep, here he goes then for double five to level the match at one leg apiece. Game shot. No problem that time. And Gary Anderson is level here with Damon Hetter after that finish at double five. But I've got to say, it's been impressive stuff so far from Damon Hetter. He uh, was involved in a oh, real battle with Dimitri Vandenberg just a few moments ago. And he started this game really well. He has. Started with a real purpose and he's going to need to keep his foot on the gas. Forty. Ironically, there was a bit of a, a conversation between the two players and the referee before this final started about cars. And they were talking about electric cars. So, foot on the gas, 59. does that still equate? Uh. I don't know. But one thing that doesn't really equate with me is the fact that the worst performance of the day from Gary Anderson was when he beat Michael Van Gerwen, averaging 97. And the rest of it is in yeah. three figures. And that was the last 64. Unbelievable that Gary Anderson and uh, Michael Van Gerwen were paired together in the last 64, 60. and Gary was... The better player, I don't think there's too much doubt about that. He's just been on it all day. A model of consistency here as he looks to put more pressure on Damon Hetter as he hits another 180 here. He's throwing quite beautifully. This is crazy. Four 180s and we're only in the middle of leg three. How many could we possibly get? One hundred. Well, one thing we do know is that Gary has actually hit the most of the day so far. He's only just overtaken Mike Dedecker who had 23. Double 14, and Game Gary is now 2-1 up after losing that first leg in 12 darts. There is nothing he can't deflect. Yep, just a slight touch of another flight there, but he's 2-1 up, and uh, there you see a break of throw. 
And uh, that means that uh, he oh, has that 2-1 one. One lead and he has the throw here. Holds, it'll be 3-1 up. It is the first to eight, remember, to win this Players' Championship. Five here in Barnsley. Reminder, we're back tomorrow on the live stream on PDC TV. Damon Hetter really pushing himself. You can tell he stepped up his performance level here after reaching this final, which is a magnificent achievement in itself. But oh, Damon is, is playing really well. But Gary has a genuine opportunity to go on and go 3-1 up here. Although, Damon's only 50 behind, minus these. That's really good. Two treble visits have to be the norm in this game because if Gary's finding that first dart, you're going to be in peril. In direct contrast to what Gary's done today, Damon has had five averages under 100 and one over 100. That was earlier against Danny Jansen in round one. So he's had to work really hard today, but only taken to the limit... One or two times by the likes of Keen Barry and Dimitri Vandenberg. Gary looking for the 174 setup. Treble 18. Not to be, but Damon is now looking at finishes like 121, 127 more often. Yeah, they've got to go, and Gary's on 76 anyway. Sit the treble 11. Double 14. Oh, you do feel you've got to take chances like that when Gary's on the form that he is. And he's going to now. Go down the board. And tops he needs, 56. and he's just dipped below it. Just dipped below it. Now, Damon, real opportunity to break back. Game shot. Great shot. I want this game to go deep. I want it to deliver awesome moment. Not just jousting, leg in, leg out, but there has to be a moment in there. One break of throw each, as you can see. But the one thing that springs to mind, and it's really tough for me to talk about this because I'm a huge fan of Damon Hetta. I tipped Gary Anderson at the start of the day. I tipped him before this final as well. Based on form and also based on the fact, and we've talked about Joe Cullen's streak of winning matches at 19. We also have to talk about Damon's streak of losing finals. He's lost four consecutive finals now since he won his first players championship in the autumn of 2020. He's lost to Gerwin Price Six. twice, Johnny Clayton and Joe Cullen this year in Players' Championship 3. So a second final of the year already for, for Damo. He's having a good season, but he wants nothing less than the win in this game. Yep, and that 180 has set himself up nicely for a hold of throw here. 140. This has all the makings early on of a cracking contest. There is no doubt that uh, Damon is playing better here than he did in his semi-final with Dimitri. I don't think there's too much doubt about that. 100. He has raised his performance level up a notch to leave double 16 here. It's a pace that suits both players as well. 60. Gary can just plod along at a nice rhythm and Damon can follow Double eight. Game Finds shot. his way with a central double eight to three two up after being two one down. This final has got all the ingredients that we required to make a beautiful, beautiful supper. 50. Yeah, nice way to round off a super day in Barnsley today with some fantastic darts action. Big day for some of the players as well. Mike De Decker going deep, which is good to see for Mike. Yeah, big day for Sean Wilkinson as Sean well, making, Wilkinson, the, yeah. making the last 16. He hadn't even won a match this season Fantastic. so far. Yeah. 104. Sometimes it just happens when you don't expect it. And, uh, of course, earlier, Michael Van Gogh and going out in the last 64 to Gary Anderson. Gary was just superb, kept his cool. But Damon Hetter, got to take my hat off to him here because he is playing brilliantly, consistently, and really making Gary Anderson work ever so hard with darts like that. What a game. Six 180s. We haven't even had six legs. Keep them coming, lads. Keep them coming. 93. Great double switch there from Damon. Single would have left 170. Treble leaves the 134. That leaves two double tops. There's one, and this one's going in. 
You Thank just you knew it was going in. <laughs> the lie was so good. And that is one of those finishes that just looks predictable. But it's not. It's so difficult. Unless your name's Gary Anderson, of course. Well, he's dug that out to level at three apiece. Fantastic darts here in Barnsley right now. Who will emerge as the winner of Players' Championship 5? Two tops for Gary Anderson. 140. Winning that in style. He's just nicked to 140 now as well to put a little bit of pressure on Damon Hetter. Needs the red bit. Needs the red bit. Doesn't get the red bit. So Gary's only 20 behind with these darts now. They've only played each other three times previously. I'm quite amazed that they haven't crossed paths on the floor before. In fact, the only place that they have crossed paths is on the World Series in Melbourne and in Brisbane on two occasions. Damon's won once, Gary's won twice. But the key thing is, when Damon won, he won the title. Could this be another one where he beats Gary Anderson on the way to oh, victory on the day? Well, it's a cracking game, this one. All the signs early on are encouraging that we're going to go deep into this match. 15 legs. The best of 15 legs. We've had six so far. They're rattling along at a good pace. Damon down to 76 now. Oh, it was really close on the 54, which would have left the ball. Damon's looking for another hold to find the lead once again. These are the battles that you have to win. Tops. Well, he hasn't won this battle yet. That had to go. Gary's on 68 now. Real opportunity. Now he needs tops, Gary Anderson, Gary and he hits top. it as well. And that is a break of throw. Damon Hetter, well, he didn't take the opportunity that presented itself to him there. And Gary Anderson with a key break. Is that a major moment in the match? And look at this for a follow-up as well from Gary Anderson with a 140. And he just no doubt feels... Great relief that he's managed to break that throw. And now we're getting towards a real key moment in the match. Seven legs in, best of 15. 78. And if Gary can hold here to go six, sorry, five, three, I can't count, to go five, three ahead, that could be a key moment in this match, Paul. 100. It could. And Gary's looking to get his quarter century of players' championship victories. He's got 24 in the bank already. And we're not counting... Another six UK Open qualifiers, which is one on the floor as well. Adding to all of the other cacophony of titles that he has picked up in his PDC and his BDO career. 57. It's a Hall of Fame career, and it's a career that's far from finished. Well, absolutely, when he's playing like this as well. But it was a slack visit last time with only 57 for Gary. 134. That's better from uh, Damon Hetter with a 134. So Gary's got to get his act together here now and kick on. Could do with another red bit. 100. Well, Damon's thinking of leaving 64 here, if not 24. It's the kind of pressure he needs to apply. Must find something meaty here. It's not enough. 104 is James Wade's favourite finish. Will it be Gary's right now? He says no. 60. And I know for a fact that Damon's looking at the 19s here. Needs six of them for double 16. Yep, not easy, but there's three of them. There's another three of them. Oh, double 16. He takes out a 146 with Gary Anderson sat on tops. That is fantastic from Damon Hetter. And we are level again, folks, here in a real, real intriguing final. Gary Anderson four, Damon Hetter four. I didn't even know about that way to go when I, until I moved to Australia. And they showed me how to use the treble 17 and the treble 19. That is a quintessentially brilliant Damon finish. He loves the double 16. 100. He'll do anything to leave it. But that 146 has kept him alive because if he misses that, he's going to be two behind in another final where he's under big stress. 
60. Well, 4-4 is a lot better than 5-3 Gary from Damon's point of view. And that's staying the obvious. But that underlines just what... One a key moment that was for Damon as Gary hits the 180 again. We are being served up an absolute treat here. Four 180s to Gary, three for Damon. Can you imagine if we had a packed house in here, the noise that there would be One with a game like this, Paul? Yeah, it would be amazing. I don't know whether you caught Gary's face when that 146 was on its way. <laughs> it was as if to say, just go away, will you? <laughs> but it's, it's huge respect. I know that Gary really does respect Damon. The way he delivers the darts every single time. And his mentality as well. He plays in a very old school way. Doesn't say boot to a goose unless he wins something. And Damon is not out of this leg yet. But it is a possible break. Tops. Wire clipper. 71. Under delivered. So Damon, if he can double down on Tum Plus finishes, he'll find himself in front again. Surely it's got to be the 42. It's in for tops. And that's there as well. Oh. What finishing from the heat. He's putting the heat on Gary, all right. And look at that. And for someone who hasn't won a final in a couple of years, after losing in four straight, 100. this is a huge mental performance from Damon Hetter, who is out finishing his opponent. Absolutely stunning finish from Damon Hetter. 146, the biggest checkout of the match so far. Gary's taken out a 1 3 1 himself. This final's had a bit of everything with nine legs in. And Gary now hitting the treble 20 for fun. Absolutely sizzling darts. Five 180s now for Gary. Three for Damon. And we're in leg 10. Eight. 180s, and win the 10th leg. Like, make that nine 180s. They are putting on some show for us here. It's quite hard to believe that Gary Anderson has one not won hundred. a players championship in two years, one month, and 11 days. Quite astounding. But Damon is playing a level of darts here where he just won't be denied. This is an immense leg. He's left 16, and he might lose it. Treble 17. And that would have hurt, but Hetter now on double eight for six four. This is huge. Massive moment for a break in his favour. Double eight, he's not missing, is he? He is playing absolutely brilliantly. Now he'll have the throw to go within one leg of this Players' Championship title. Average of 108.7 in this final. This is the shiny bit on the top of Elite. That's how good this is from Damon. Gary's averaging 106 almost. So it's not like his level has dropped. Nine, in fact, it's gone up by half a point from his day's effort, which has been elite in itself. But Damon's job is not done, Nigel, because he was in a very strong position about a year ago against Gerwin Price. And then all of a sudden, Price went ballistic. And he averaged 120 for the final seven legs of the contest and took one away from Damon. I just hope that Damon is not remembering that too much. Well, Gary won't give up, that's for sure. He's only halfway to the finish line, but he'll still feel that he can do it. But Damon, it has to be said, is playing brilliantly. He's left 2.10 to tidy up. Don't go 20s, Gary. No. I like it. He is really thinking clearly because... In previous times, he would have just tried to bulldoze that 60 for a 125 leave. But that was the right shot at the right time. 58. Oh, look at this from Gary now. All about putting the pressure on Damon. And this could be a significant moment because Gary sat on double 10 to break back. And then within moments, he could be six apiece. Let's see. This could be a backbreaker. Just pulled into the green. Now, Gary, I said a little bit earlier, has been on double five a lot today, which means he's missed double ten a lot. He doesn't miss Thanks it this shot. time, and he's back within one. And for the first time in a few games, he's having to scrap. And let's not forget that Gary's trying to do the Aussie double today because when he played a little bit earlier, he was involved in what was... Arguably, inverted commas, 100. the best game of the day. 
6-5, he beat Simon Whitlock. Surviving two match darts, we are told, where they averaged 108 each. Yep, some fantastic stuff from Gary, but that's great from Damon Hetter down for two trouble 19s there as well. Leave uh, hitting the 1-3-4, but Gary will fancy his chances of holding his throw here to take us to a six-all game, and then effectively it's down to a best of three for the title. I'm now fascinated to see what Gary does on 308. 60. There's no pressure from Damon, so I think staying straight on the 60s is the right play. Because a lot of people might have gone to the 18s first, but he didn't need to. 174 blitzes his score position. But let's just refresh everybody at home. Damon Hetter's got the darts. If this does go the way of Gary Anderson right here, which it should in the next six darts, possibly three, it will be best of three with Damon throwing first. Yep, so it is still advantage, Damon Hetter. Whatever happens here. Even if it's six apiece, advantage with the throw for the Heat. Gary sat on 78, needed to level this match at six apiece, but a nice steady turn from Damon, who leaves him 72. Great first start for Game double shot. 12, and we are six apiece here now. And we are effectively down to a best of three match to decide the winner of Players' Championship 5. Let's see what Damon's made of now. Look at this. Great stuff. He's digging deep. And the good thing about this match is that it's keeping the adrenaline high. At no point 100. has it had a lull. It's had adrenaline spikes in it to make sure that these guys have got plenty of energy. Damon has the darts. He has the accuracy. He's in for another max. And he's trying to do exactly what he couldn't do on the 2nd of August last year when he lost 8-7 to Price in that incredible final. Could he go 7-6 up? He should. Yeah, absolutely. Terrific darts from Damon Hetter here. He's thrown a 140. He's thrown a 180. And uh, now he's thrown a ton. And he's down to 81 with Gary well back right now. Gary back on 263. Six starts from here for Damon Hetter to go within one leg of the match. Double 16. Double 16. Oh, it's 7 6 Hetter. And now Gary, after everything he's done today, has now got to win two straight legs against someone averaging 107 to try and get his first win on the floor for over two years. Wow, this is some performance from Damon Hetcher. It's been some final, hasn't it? Truly astonishing performance from Damon Hetcher. One. I talked about the finals losing streak for Damon at four. Well, in fact, it's two for Gary because he's lost his last couple. One. But they were in the final of the world match play in the world championship. The final before that, he won against Jeff Smith of Canada in that Players' Championship win from two years ago. But Hetter's putting huge pressure on Gary. Now, he decides not to go for the 18s or the 15s or the 25 on the 305 approach. seven. So he's guaranteeing himself nine darts to win this leg. But if Damon can find two, six, seven, and six, that'll be tournament Hetter. One hundred. Uh, steady turn leaves sixty seven for one six seven for Damon. But Gary Anderson hanging on in there, 96. digging deep. First chance to win it. With a bang. Can he? Oh, it's on the wire. Oh, 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 oh. That would have been some way to win a tournament, but Just Gary now needs the one twelve to survive. Wow, did anybody see this coming, folks? Staying up the board. And now, to stay in the tournament. Oh, my goodness, is that Gary Anderson's last 
Visit to the board. Damon Hetter for Players' Championship 5. There's the 9. Can he win it here? Oh, Damon Hetter has Damon won Players' Hetter. Championship 5 with a terrific display against Gary Anderson here at Barnsley. And that is a momentous moment in the career of Damon Hetter. He wins here by eight legs to six. Amazing stuff. Great to see Damon playing at that level against the best player of the day. The 5 one is shared by the players. They get five each, but the finishing stats of Hetter, that's what got him through most of his matches today. 61% in the final. That 1-4-6 checkout really did give him that catalyst to get this victory. And he snaps the streak of four straight final losses. We are going to hear from Damon Hetter now after that Gary Anderson victory. Oh, the Damon Hetter victory over Gary Anderson by eight legs to six. He's now with our man Dan Dawson downstairs. Damon Hetter, <laughs> you have won your third PDC title. How does that feel? That's one of the greatest finals we've seen since we started streaming these events. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think the Gezi Price comeback against me in the final was uh, <laughs> maybe a little bit better, but uh, nah, man, that's... <sighs> It's massive. It really is. It's massive for me. Gary Anderson came in. Were you aware of how well he was playing? Yeah, uh, my missus was telling me, and I was looking. I'm going, <laughs> well, lucky I avoided him all day and uh, had to play him in the final. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, he was playing, like, sensational. Like, I think when we started the semis, we started first, and all I could hear was their game going on in, in the back of my mind. And they finished, yeah, I don't know, a good 10 minutes before us. I've gone, oh, wow. <laughs> well, Gary Anderson came into that average of 105 for the day. Oh, yeah. He has carried on at that level. But there was a spell in that game, a 146 out, a 101 out, a 10 data, those three legs. If any of those fail to go... Gary might win that title. Yeah, hundred percent, mate. I, I've done things like that before. It's not. I'm, I'm, I'm accustomed. I'm accustomed of of this start scene now. You know what I mean? Um, and it, and it's what you have to do. I, it's happened to me too many times as well. So uh, you just got to take whatever opportunity you got, and 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 that's what I plan to do. Some of the stuff that you've been playing over recent months, you've really put yourself in the very top bracket, the elite level, with the performances you've been showing. But you kept on running into Gary Price in finals, <laughs> or somebody's done something ridiculous to beat you, like what happened at the European Tour last weekend, where you were playing incredibly, and Martin Lupman's 104 average was <laughs> was just enough to get over the line. Yeah. Do you feel you're on the verge of doing something even more special, not just winning one of these, but winning a big TV title? Yeah, hundred um, percent. I got. Yeah, I've shown my consistency throughout, and and I and I feel I'm showing it this year. Um, yeah, to win today is is massive because I went all last year playing well. I was in I don't know. I'd say I'm a top ten average player in in the scene, and and not to win one last year was a bit. I mean, I made some finals, but not to get a win was a bit yeah disheartening. But that gives me the edge to come back the next day. Um, so to get a win today, and, and especially the way Gary's playing today, and, and to get a win over you know another Premier League player is uh, is massive. It's massive for me. Um, I've I'm, I'm always looking up. I've got I've got still everything to gain. Um, yeah, I I consider myself to to keep on going, and and I don't expect too much less of myself. What was it like uh, beating the housemate in the semi-finals? It was a hard game. <laughs> it was a real <laughs> hard game. I don't know. It was it was flat at one stage. Like, I don't know about one stage, but like I felt it was fl it was it was flat. But I think we really both we both both tried hard, um, and I knew you give you, you give Dimmy a chance, he's going to take it. And I feel he probably feels the same way. It was it was just it felt like a flat game to me. Um, but we've got to put all that aside and we've both got to come up here and play our own game uh, and try and get the job done. Win-loss will still be mates after it, 100%. You said like uh, you were looking all through last year and I felt like I'm a top 10 average player and I wasn't winning, I was making finals and wanted to get that winning feeling. Right now, with what you've been doing, winning here, beating Van Gerwen at the UK Open, when you look around the world of darts, where do you think you sit? Do you think how many players mm. in the world do you think are better than you? Can you count them on one I, hand, two no, hands? I can't. I think uh, every game that I approach, I feel I, f I feel every anyone can play that hundred average game, hundred percent. No, there's you can't. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I rate myself above anyone. I, I, I really don't. I've all I've got to do is do my best at the hockey and 
and beat that guy in front of me. That's that's it. And I felt that got me over today is just playing one game at a time. I not play. I didn't. I don't think I played my best stuff today. I I, I think I took my chances every time, pretty much. Um, I, I played some decent players that no doubt can could, could win this thing 100%. But I just. I felt I just played my own game, get the win, on to the next one. Yeah, that would do it. Well, it certainly worked out. Look, we've seen Damon Hatto average way, way more than that and get through to semi-finals and finals. But today, he got over the line and won, beating Gary Anderson, who appears to have just something has clicked and is playing world-class starts again. Probably the best we've seen from him for years and years, <laughs> genuinely. 105 average for the day. We saw nine darters today. Joe Cullen hitting one. Josh Rock hitting one. Loads of players winning games for the first time, either this year or in their PDC careers, or for the first time in absolutely ages.